bookstore and uh, I'm with Ari again. By the way, in the last vlog, everyone's like, oh my god, she's so funny. Tell her to start a channel. What's her good read? So like everyone- Can I borrow this into my own? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I found this book and I was showing it to Aria because you read spicier books than me. So I was like, yeah, maybe no, you would read this one. Is this like too spicy for you? It's like I, one girl, two guys. I don't know. It depends on like what the content's about. Yeah. What's the second one? Are well, they all the same? Or, or they're. <laughs> yeah, she was. Point. What was that book that you were saying? Were they related? I don't remember what it was called. It was like someone like posted a TikTok and they just posted like they. When they showed the book, I just like paused to read it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, but if the two guys are related, that's still. <laughs> that's still incest. <laughs> that's still like you. Like, they're like, oh, this is so. Like, I'm like, no, that's not like spicy. That's like that's scary. Gross. That's disgusting. These are both twins. Yes. See, like, sometimes, be, sometimes I feel like so people just like get way off the deep end. It's like we've lost the plot because yeah. why are we writing a book? About this? And I get everyone wants to be like different, but some yes. things are different in a bad way. Yes, <laughs> some things need to just be kept like behind closed doors. Like if you want to write a book about that, maybe like just keep it to yourself. Yeah, keep it to yourself. Don't release it. But then I guess if you're releasing it, people are like, reading it. It's like. But also, like, why are you not more embarrassed to even put that down? <laughs> like, just that you thought about that. Just, and then you shared it with people. Well, then I'm also then thinking about started. all the twins that you know in your but life. Like, have you like thought about this? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, if you know twins, like, yeah. have you thought about this? Yeah. Uh, there's three books, and they're all. I think they're all the same. This is too many words. But I feel like I'm looking at the every book. book like, look, every okay. thing you fall to, like. <laughs> like every page <laughs> like you could literally just skim and stop and well oh yeah <laughs> so the sex with Noah was pathetic and sad <laughs> like every page this I is just too long like what are you doing how many pages is it, is it... what is this what <laughs> what is the back of this what is this what is this a play <laughs> the back of the book has like a. What is that? Why is there like time and. Is this ESPN? Time? I'm so confused. Yeah, we don't need that. We don't need That's that book. How many pages it is? 573. Yeah, I feel like you, you, know, you just gotta wrap it up. No, I feel like the longest just, a romance should be. I don't care. Yes, I feel like the longest a romance should be should be like 300 pages. Because you know if this long, they're gonna break up like four times. Oh, yeah. Well, there's two guys, so I guess I could each break up once. <laughs> maybe, the, maybe the third act of breakup is the two guys breaking up with each other. Yeah. <laughs> or they, they cut out of it. Yeah, they're like, bye. They're actually, we're like, actually, we were better together. Um, oh, this book just came out. You like, do you like Megan Quinn? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I've read any of her books. Okay, I feel like you will like her books if you've read, like, because you like, like, Tessa Bailey and, like, her do books. I? I don't know. Do you? It's one of those things. Just like, mm. no. Her books are funny. Do it. Like they're funny and spicy. Mm. Megan Quinn. Oh, okay. I was like, Tessa Lee's Yeah, Tessa Lee's like. Think she's funny. But... Yeah, I agree. I well, you like um, Hannah Grace's like books? Corny. I mean, I only read the one. Oh, okay. But I did like it. Yeah, I feel like you'll like her books. I feel like I liked that it was very like, cause like even the parts where it wasn't like the couple. Mm -hmm. was, like, I like the, like, the, way the she, friendship like, yeah, and the stuff. Friendship, yes. Except, I mean, the one guy was crazy yeah but you know just like even like the i like when there's a lot of like other side like mm -hmm. friendships and stuff. i'm excited for henry's story like that's the one that i just like that's really the only one i cared about i read wildfire because i wanted to get to daydream literally that is what happened with me i saw <laughs> that one and i was like this looks good and i was like, like it's hard to see so yeah I God, I've got to so i'm just now getting to that one yeah but that one i was like i she was, she's wearing a Taylor Swift sweater in the front. Like, I know. I feel kinship to this woman. I know. And I think there's a bunch of like Taylor Swift songs in it too. Yeah. Yeah, she's a Taylor Swift stan. Like you've been to, you were to how many concerts? Of three. That's a lot of Taylor Swift concerts. Like they're hard to get. I mean, I, w I fought the Ticketmaster Great War <laughs> and I came up the other side. Yeah, you won. Yeah, I think you like her books. Um, I've only read one, but it's not here. I think the one I read was Un Untying the Knot by her. Um, but this is like all a series. And I think the one that got popular on TikTok is not here. But anyway, yeah, this one just I came out. I feel like I've, like, 
I had my limit with like books being recommended to me on TikTok. So I don't know what the criteria is. But I don't like, either. I, almost Twins, every time I read like... one, it sounds like hey, this is bad. Yes. So why are you all like? Are you all having like joint psychosis? Sometimes I think it's like the easier book to read like the easier the book is to read the more people say it's good and i'm like is it good or was it just really easy yeah, to read like, you just, just because you finished it an hour doesn't mean you're right yourself. Doesn't mean it's good. You're now. yeah yeah i i totally agree i feel like it's hard like, did you see that one video about the girl and she was talking about like her like book aches and she was like if there's too many like words i was like that's no what other part of the book the book's all words <laughs> I feel like does she mean like long. if it's wordy, like like not enough dialogue, or does she just mean just words in general? She's like when like the she's like if I see like a really long paragraph, like I'll just skip it. I'm like well then you're not reading the book, you're just looking at it. Why is it that I kind of agree? With her? <laughs> I won't skip it. I won't skip it. But I do like a lot of dialogue. Like I like them to be talking. I do too, but it's like you. You're but just, you do have to have you're words. And then you're complaining about being confused. And it's like well yeah, you just skipped a whole page of yes. words, so yeah. that's why you're confused. Yeah, and that's why you hit the book. Yeah, and yeah. then I saw another one where she was like complaining about I don't know what it was. But she was talking about like a mm -hmm. fantasy book or whatever. And she was like it's just so long and it's like so confusing and mm -hmm. it's so like I don't like the way like the world is set up. I was like well then don't read fantasy. Yeah. Like, do you like fantasy? You haven't really gotten into really, it. The only really like fancy one that I've read is Bride Valley Hazelwood. I don't oh, really you read Hunger Games? It's like dystopian kind of. Yeah, but that's like I feel like fantasy is more like magic. -y. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That was just like the future. Yeah. Of like America. Did you read um, Fourth Wing? I actually like that one. I'm not a big fan. It's fantasy like, person. It's one of those things where I'm like I want to. But you just can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm the same way. I've read like four fantasies, and people are like, "Oh, you just gotta read this." Or you just, I'm like, every time I read it, I'm like, "It's good, but it's not romance." Like I'm always like, I'm ready to finish this book so I can Is read other romance. romance. Kind of like okay, I feel like people who say fantasy books are like romantic. It, it's like I feel like it's not the enough romance. Is always, like, yeah, it's, and it's like barely romance. anything. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. like I, as I'm reading it, I'm like, I need more romance. Whereas the fantasy people are like, this is enough. So I don't know. It's just, it's not my favorite. I have heard that this is a really good book. And it'll make you cry. So cry romance. Good yeah. Too many words. <laughs> the words are kind of huge though. Yeah, that is, that is true. It's a bigger font. That one I, no, this one I was saying that. It the font big, is, the font yes, really the small. font is small. Let's see what else we got here. Like my font on my Kindle is set to like seven. Because <laughs> <laughs> I like, I feel like I'm reading faster from turning pages like more often. Yes, I agree. And if you see the percentage go down like fast or faster. I need to do, um, have you? I need to do like a, um, like a blind pick where I just blindly grab a book and That's I just That's what I do it. with audiobooks. That is crazy. Yeah. I just actually just DNF'd a book last night that I did with them. We were just talking so about DNF'ing. So I finally, I figured out how What'd to What'd you DNF this time? I like, DNF'd and I've done 18 books so far. And <laughs> I just did a call The Therapist. It was by... B.A. Um, Paris? Yes. Oh my gosh. I haven't read it. I'm kind of glad that I haven't. You didn't like it? No. <laughs> Have you read anything by that author? Uh, I haven't finished anything by that author. <laughs> Well, I also the other read Behind Closed Doors. I was like, <gasps> you didn't like that book? So I love that book. I was dead yet. <laughs> You're like, someone needs to be killed fast. And it was all like, I get that it was something weird going on with her husband, but no one told me what it was yet. And I was like, yeah. I'm just being like, it does weird. get kind of crazy something at the weird, end, though. Something weird, something weird. I was like, okay, well, what is it? Yeah, and it is kind of one of those books where it like tells you everything at the end, and I feel like I do get a little bored when it's like that mm -hmm. because you're waiting to the very end for everything mm -hmm. to happen, and then if it doesn't happen, it's like you're bored. Yeah, you know, at the book. And I was but. like, I feel like it's not weird enough. I kind of just, I don't, I don't feel weird. I just feel like you guys are annoying. Yeah. So I was like, I kind of just, I don't, I don't care. I was like, Sorry, your life sucks. I guess. <laughs> It's not my problem. <laughs> I always feel like there's so many books that are being released, like, um, like with new authors and stuff that I haven't like read from before, and I just can't keep up. I do like like finding like an author that I like, and then I can just like read all their books. Mm -hmm. Do you usually do that where you'll read like every single one of them? Yeah. And then Mm -hmm. I still feel like I have a good time, so I like that author. Yeah. And I just started reading um, Sally Hepworth. 
Oh yeah, you said Darling show. Girls, yeah. right? Yeah. So I've read like almost like all of her books that are available on Libby. Wow. I didn't read the synopsis of any of them. And you like them I all? enjoyed all. I might pick up one of her books while I'm here because I've never read anything from her before. Do you like Abby Jimenez's books? Never. You haven't read any of her books? See, okay, this is what I, I do gonna, like about I was you, though. I read this one uh -huh. because I needed the letter J for like a like reading challenge. Uh -huh, I was and you didn't. Doing, but I didn't realize this was a part of a series. You can so read it like, standalone, like, and you're fine. But if you're going to read the whole series, yeah, I was like, I yeah. might as well read it in order. Yeah. I, what I like about like your reading is I feel like you don't get like bullied by the hype. You know how sometimes like, someone will be hyping up a book? I feel like I get FOMO. And I feel like you are just like, eh. Like, so many people have talked about her books and you're like, well, no, I'm excited like, like, to my face, so. <laughs> someone needs to tell like, you, people, like, in person. People on my phone would really hold, like, a lot of weight. I don't know you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You could have terrible taste. That is so actually like, true. if you tell me to read something, I'm going to read it. Well, her books remind me of, I'm trying to think of something similar. Because, like, I, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I don't have your taste down pat yet. Like, there's some people who, like, I know exactly I like what they like. I read, like, a lot of different like types of books yes but like most i don't think you've recommended me a book that i didn't like okay she loves the orphan trope <laughs> like when just love when people are sad and their life sucks she loves kids are orphans like the book i'm reading right now after their mom just died i'm like oh, look at that. <laughs> you're like i love it what's it called yes. um home is where the bodies are people are dying and people yep. are sad and yep. you're like this is great um but she loves that so like anytime i see that in the book i'm like okay if they're orphans you'll probably like yep. it I'm trying to think of it's what like other love, orphan like, books they have. Sibling things. Like, have you read um, Far From the Tree? Mm -mm. So I don't know if you like it's not a romance. Book. Yeah. But I feel like it's like... Oh, it's not? Well, like, what is it? It's, like, it's like a coming of age. Oh, okay. So they're all, like, young. Okay. Yeah, I love YA books, too. But they all, like, the main girl was just adopted, and she finds out that she has two siblings. Oh. And they, like, meet up and, like, go on a road trip to, like, find their parents. Oh, so It's, like, a fun cute. little, like, you know, like, oh, And they're orphans. They're really parents. <laughs> <laughs> like they need parents. No, her books are really good. They have tons of dialogue. Like all they do is talk and talk and talk to each other. They like the entire book. book. Yeah, I mean it's this pretty one, long. That was actually one that I looked at mm -hmm. on um, my Kindle. Mm -hmm. I don't know why ebooks are so expensive. Like you're sending me a PDF. Why are you yeah. asking me for twenty dollars? No, that's crazy. Because how much is like this actual book? Yeah, I don't get why ebooks are like. Yeah, this book is seventeen dollars. The ebook was more expensive. <laughs> you're sending me <laughs> what? a link. Essentially, you might as well yeah. buy the like the real book. Exactly. Do you read physical books a lot, or not so much? Like you would rather read on your Kindle. Um, I don't know if I'd say I'd rather. I just you like just don't care. To, well, a lot of times books aren't available. Like more books are available through the library gotcha. on ebook okay. than like on audio. Okay. So I get if I can get it that way, whatever way I can get it for free. Gotcha. Yeah, I feel that. But yeah, I actually someone... had never read any like electronic thing before you got me on my Kindle. Oh really? Yeah. Oh I forgot that I bought you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did I get that for Christmas? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. It's only been like what a year? Yeah. So I haven't even had it a full year, but I wow. have read. Like, Do you feel like you've read so much more because you have your Kindle or not really? Because um, before what I would you just read on? Just physical read. books at the library? Okay. Yeah. And that's why I feel like I was buying a lot of books. So I was trying to slow down. I was like, I don't need to buy everything I think I might want to read one day. Yeah. So I was trying to like slow down with that. So now I've, now that I can get it on there for free. You can get anything you want. Yeah. And then I found out that if you put your Kindle in airplane mode, mm -hmm. you can keep it. <laughs> keep it. So like, oh. Have you guys heard that? So yeah, if you put your Kindle in airplane mode after you what get your order, like your Kindle book, mm -hmm. like, um, like the library. Yeah. They like can't take it back until you take it off. <laughs> so. And the other person can still use it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's not holding up anyone at the so library. You can just put it into airplane mode, then return it. Mm -hmm. But then you have it till you take it off of airplane mode. Yes, that's very smart. Yeah. I feel like they're going to do away with that because too many people know it at this point. Like, I don't even like, like use Libby or anything, and like, I know that. Do about it? I know, well, it's like they're still able to read it, you so, like, why is it matter? So yeah, I, I you still it, have I've it. given it back now. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, they're so. That's how I'm reading, um, I'm reading Carrie right now. Okay. And it like expired, so it's in airplane mode. So. Mm. But so the thing is, it. now I have a book that's waiting to be downloaded. I was like, okay, well, I can't get to that oh, yet. So I'm trying well, to hurry so up to finish, finish it. This one yeah. So I can download the other one. I recently read this one, and it was so, so good. No orphan though, but very good. Okay, so I'm seeing X. <laughs> so I'm thinking this is a second chance thing. Hey, oh yeah, you don't like second chance <laughs> romances. <laughs> See, this is what I mean. I I have a hard time picking. I'm gonna pick something so out that's gonna be perfect. The one I'm reading right now does have a second chance like in there. Uh -huh. It's not what the book is about. Uh -huh. It's like a thriller, but this is also happening. But I feel like it's 
a little different because they like dated in high school. Then Very different. Up, yeah. Then they both married other people. Oh. And now they're both divorced and like reconnecting. Dang. They just moved back home. Okay, so it's like they broke up, but not because something someone did, yes. just because they like got older. Yeah. Okay. Which I feel like that's fine with because I also on the other hate like the whole high school been together the whole time. Like, oh, yes. Yeah. It's like break up. You're not bored of yeah. <laughs> break up already. Yeah. Like just... Do you like uh, Anna Huang with like the Twisted series and stuff? <gasps> Guys, see, this is what happens. I tell you about books and I've never heard of that before in my life. Honestly, that series is like kind of overhyped. Popular book in the world. Like, I, I know. Well, that's why I love it because I feel like everything you read is like, like, very niche. Like you're yeah. like the. Which sucks because then when I love it, everyone's like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, ah! <laughs> okay, what's a book that you feel like is like needs more hype? Like it could be any genre, like a book that you're just like, oh my god, it's so good. Why didn't more people not talk about it? Okay, this is like an old book. Okay. But I read it when I was in like middle school. And okay. I've never gotten over the fact that no one else talks about it. It's a legend series. Never you've ever read, read it. it. No. I feel like it was good enough to like be up there with like Hunger Games. Really? And I was like, I don't Do you know remember who it's by? Marie Lou, maybe? The fact that you still know this and you read it so I long have ago. all three of them on my shelf. Wow. Dang. But yeah, it was really good, and no one ever talked about it. And I was like, this should have a movie, this should have a mini series, this should have merch. There's so many books like that but that I, I feel like, like just fall like dystopian, so I don't think you would like it. Okay, but so somebody I, who would like dystopian. Because yes, you like, like, like Percy Jackson, Hunger Games, and that's all like dystopian. Yeah. Is Percy Jackson, is that a book? Yeah. Okay. I know it was like a scene. Yeah. <laughs> I forget that that's like a part of your DNA. I'm like, yeah. is that a TV show or movie? Like, I have never... Well, it is a TV show now. Oh, a TV show? Yes. <gasps> They just started filming season two. Oh my I'm god. All their business. That is crazy. Okay, so you've read Emily Henry though. Yes. Okay, which I ones just, of hers have you read? So I just bought the special edition of Beach Read, which is my favorite book. Yeah, it is. It's and then weird. I read Book Lovers. Okay. And I have people who met on vacation, but I'm waiting to go on vacation to read it, so I haven't read it yet. Uh. <laughs> what? Is it my good? That's the only one of hers. Wait, did you like book lovers? Yeah. Okay, so you if you like book lovers, you'll probably like people you meet on vacation. I wasn't obsessed you with book lovers. Why? Their sisters and their parents are dead. <laughs> <laughs> you love orphans. I forget their parents are dead. Yeah. And they are sisters. They just have each other. <laughs> have each other. You have a thing for these orphans. I think it's like my inner child who wanted a sister so bad. Yeah, you never had a sister. And like for some reason whatever I would play like you play like house and stuff. Uh -huh. You want to be orphans? You're just breaking out of orphans. Like I was literally like Annie. I'm like, guys, I'm Annie. <laughs> You're like, I don't have a same one. No, that's so cute. Like, I do feel needs to be an orphan in every and, book that you read. Yeah, and a, like sister. I feel like everyone kind of connects with books based on like stuff that they either want or don't have mm -hmm. or like something like that. Have you read um, the Magnolia Park series? Actually, I don't think you'll like it. Cause I feel like everyone says it's like Oscar Girl. Like people didn't like Oscar Girl. I don't think you like it only because you hate the second chance like trope, and that entire book is second chance trope. Yeah. And he, I know that's like your bread and butter. It is. I just <laughs> eat it up. I love it, but I don't think that you would like it. So I'm not gonna recommend it to you. But it is incredible. I do think that some people can kind of get past the second chanceness, but because you hate it so much, I feel like you will not. I feel get like past it's it. like. The only times that it wasn't bothering me was like mm -hmm. when it wasn't like the main focus of the book. Yeah, that's it's literally the, yeah. the entire from start to finish. Honestly, it actually rolls into other books. And too, sometimes so. I feel like it's fine because sometimes it'll be like this couple we did throughout the whole series, mm -hmm. and like if they get together in the first one and they have them like break up in the second one, that's fine. Yes, but it's I, it has to be the same person. Like I have to be invested enough in the relationship. Yeah, to care that and you don't really together. get anything from them before before the book starts and then even together and having a healthy relationship. Like they're just toxic the entire book. <laughs> Have you read this? Pumpkin Spice Cafe? I feel like everyone's talked about this yeah, and I, and I need to know, know is it overhyped or is it like actually worth reading? I don't know. And then there's this one, the second one. The Cinnamon Bun Bookstore or whatever it's called. I just need to know is it overhyped or not. One book that um, where is it? I'm trying to see if I can find it. You're like eh, overhyped. <laughs> yeah, that is massive. I feel like see again. And the first thing I see here is Giles, which... See again. 
Do you not like Harry Styles? I love Harry Styles. I don't like it when like real things are mentioned. Yes, like TikTok or yes. Yeah, yeah. I don't need to read about your fictional love. For sure. No, I get that. I feel like you're just trying to get people to like it. Yeah. Do you like when Taylor Swift is mentioned? Oh, really? Because I feel like a lot of times they do it just for the hype. Yes. No, I get that. Ooh, I like that fan service. I've never heard that saying before. Um, I was gonna say. Ooh, did you read this one? Have you read any of her books? Was that Carly? Uh, Carly. <laughs> I. You don't I need to read it. Actually, out, you like, actually don't need to read it. Like, really? See, yeah. this is like I love this because now I can. I feel like I can recommend anything, but I almost don't want to recommend anything because I'm like scared that you won't like it. Have you read this? I haven't read it, so Absolutely I'm looking at you. Do you, not, do you know what it's about? I know what it's about. I haven't read it. <laughs> I read like the snippet that you posted, and I was like, I don't know what. My friend has she, read this. She needs to be put on a list. I know. I don't know what list she needs to be watching. Yeah, they are unhinged. Absolutely unhinged. Just everything. That like they I write. had like someone like read that book, and they were like, she was like, I when I finished it, I threw it away. <laughs> she's like, use all it. She's like, I I didn't want anyone else like to <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Oh, but this person didn't burn it. She absolutely hated well, it. Well, every book I feel like that they write, it's kind of, oh my gosh, this is cute. Do you like cutesy, like, little romances that are just like, no, no, you like them to be sad. You like sad. It doesn't have to be sad. But you, you, you like them to be orphans, someone okay, to be like, dying. See, I've, I've read this. Well, okay, let's not, let's forget that her best friend was evil. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I Icebreaker. You, okay, so she I liked these. Icebreaker, but he, she literally has an evil best friend. This. And you like that? Okay. Yeah. And I read this one. Okay. What other ones you got? Oh, this, this one. Is, this is the one that I did. This one is so okay. This is super cute. It had. It's about um, uh, airplane. What's it called? A pilot, or whatever the person is that like works with the pilot, and um, a girl gets on the plane. Whenever she gets on someone like starts choking and she's a nurse so she like does the Heimlich or whatever and then the lady who's like flying the plane she's like oh my god you saved this guy someone got it on TikTok or something so it like blew up everywhere and so she's like hey I think that we should fake date so that the airline will give me a promotion because she was in love with this book is okay so this book is really good okay let me tell you what's wrong so <laughs> what is that face for you still like the, the colors or something I don't like the way like I don't like this art style of like Smudginess. Oh yeah, it is and a also, different I thought art the style. Font doesn't match the vibe of the picture. <laughs> okay, next. This book is really book. good though. Like, yeah, I think it has like a four. Well, I guess Goodreads doesn't like Goodreads is not tell all, but I feel like whenever I look at my friends' reviews, like mm -hmm. that's like what I kind of go by, and all of my friends have said this is like one book that they love, and I also love it too. Let's see what else. I'll also, like, I'll read a book that I'll really like, and then mm -hmm. I'll go to your Goodreads and you like two stars. And I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sometimes I'm like, that's what I mean. I feel like we have different tastes, which is weird because I feel like we've read so many of like the same books. Okay, you gotta show me. Have you read um, any of Laura and Ashley's books? Oh, they're so big. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're really good though. And it's like if I don't like it, then yeah, you're stuck reading like a well, super thick book. This whole series is really like. good. This is like an older one though. I also have a hard time recommending books though that I read in like 2021 because I'm like I have a very different taste from 2021 to like now. And the I read these in 2021. I was like, oh my god, these are amazing. I was telling Brady about them. I was obsessed, and now I'm like, mm, would I even like these at this point? I don't know. I love your hair, by the way. Thank you. You're welcome. It's so cute. Thank you. Um, took five hours oh it looks so good <laughs> okay now i have to know what you put in your in your uh basket i feel like i'm always trying to steal people's ideas of what books that they're getting Ooh, i haven't read either of those authors you haven't uh-uh no uh i read one of her books was the um which one was that? I read it on audible we were just talking about like audible and how yeah. good it is to find like books on there yeah it's what i this uh, what got me back into reading was Audible books. Oh, and nice. Then I started buying books and started building my own library and everything. So, <laughs> and then yeah. it's a problem. Yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I'm always looking for, cause I always want to ask the romance girls like mm -hmm. what they're reading, cause yeah. I feel like I hear the same recommendations over and over. So yeah, I'm like, I really like there. dark romance books and regular romance books. Oh, nice. Too. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, yeah. So it's like it's a mixture of them and everything. But I, I want to get into fantasy books, but the only fantasy I got was like the Haunted Laurel series. Oh, know? okay. Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, I liked it. Okay. See, so, we're both saying that we want to get into fantasy, yeah, but it's like scary. Yeah, <laughs> it's like they have like um devils and stuff like that, but it's not like you know like actual devils. It's like all made up and everything like that. Okay. They don't really do spells or anything like that. Oh, okay. So, yeah. That makes me feel a little better because sometimes when it gets creepy, I'm like, oh. Yeah. And I feel like like possessions. Of that, that's where I draw. Yeah, that's, that's why I did a lot. Yeah. Because yeah. I grew up with a Christian household. My dad's a minister, so. I was oh, like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, but that's good too. So what type of books do you guys read? Um, mostly romance, um, thrillers. Mm -hmm. I've gotten kind of into like historical fiction a little mm -hmm. bit. I'm like dipping my toe. Um, I was just telling her that this book is so, so good. I want you to read it so okay. bad. It's so good. I'll take it. Oh. <laughs> It's it's so good. It's about yeah. a girl mm -hmm. who her family keeps telling her that she needs to like get a uh, boyfriend. Mm -hmm. She's like, whatever, I'll get one, I'll get one. So she starts going on all these dates, uh -huh. and when she's going on all these dates, they're like terrible dates. Like oh, the guy is standing her up, like they're just being weird. Mm -hmm. So the bartender at the bar she always goes to, he's mm -hmm. like, I'll try to set you up on some dates. So right. he starts trying to do that for her, but then he starts to fall in love with her. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, it's good. And it's a little spicy. It's it's I good. I can handle that. Yeah. Yeah, it's So good. she's like thick and plus size? Yes. And she's insecure? Yes. She's insecure too? She's insecure, but she like, by the end, you see her starting to become more confident. Oh, okay. So okay. it's like, it's the perfect balance. Okay. So one of the first books I read by um, Katarina Mora was, um, the wrong bride, not this wrong bride. Uh huh. But this one, like the Windsors, because they got like all the series. I need to finish those two. Ooh. Yeah, okay. What's really that one about? Uh, the wrong bride by Catherine. Katarina Mora. Katarina Mora. So they, uh, what is his name? So you read the dark, dark romance. Yeah, I do. This is not. This is not a dark romance. Oh, it's not. Uh, okay. It's just like an arranged marriage. Okay. But it has dark topics, but it's not that dark. Okay. But I, I like have, dark romance. Yeah, I like dark romance too. I feel like I've been getting into it more. I do get Yeah, so um, there was this girl, I can't remember the names for the life of me right now. Mm -hmm. So she always had a crush on the guy that she was supposed to marry, but her sister winds up being with him and stuff like that. So they was engaged for a long time and everything. But the um the guys part, they're like really rich and they like uh, -huh. do, uh arranged marriage to strengthen their family's um uh, uh, like and, power and, stuff. and power and everything what? like that. But the uh, sister, she's like an actress and stuff like that. She's like really, she's like a really shitty person, so you don't really care about that. Okay, okay. So, and the girl, she always loved him and everything like that. He was supposed to be engaged to her first, but the <gasps> sister swooped in and took him and everything like that, but they never wound up getting married. Mm -hmm. So she thinks getting married to him will ruin her career. Okay. And the sister, uh, her name's Raven, I think. And Raven, this the um, character that she's supposed to be with in the end and everything like that, so... He, she has to marry him in order to stay with the family and everything like that. But oh the parents don't really agree with it because they're my the sister's favorite. Yeah. And everything. So, so are they like fighting the whole book? Or? Yeah, they fight a lot and everything like that. But it's like there's a lot of tension and stuff like that too. So now, what's the, is that the one you just showed me? Uh, the no, one by this Catherine? Is a different one. A different one, okay. Yeah, this is the uh, Because they don't have her books here. Yeah, I feel like there's so many good books that yeah. I've read um, that like they don't have here. Yeah. You said you like. Um, do you like like urban romance too? Yeah. Okay. Have you read Demon's Dream by L. Kaysen? Uh uh. You, you have to read it. It's yeah. it's so, so good. It's so good. It sounds similar to like the types of books that you like. Yeah. Um, the guy, his name is Damien, but they call him Demon because he like kills people. Okay. Like it just. <laughs> You're like I'll read that one. <laughs> but it's about a a girl who her brother does something and she does something or he does something to like the neighboring gang or whatever mm -hmm. and so she's like to fix it like mm -hmm. what do you need from me to fix it and the like gang leader or whatever he's like i need you to like be with my son for 30 days and he can like do whatever like tell you to do whatever go wherever be whoever mm -hmm. for 30 days and then after that like pretty much we'll be fine yeah so she goes to him and it's like, okay, your dad said that like I'm to be like your wife or to be yours or whatever, and he's just like, no, yeah, yeah, he's like, no, like, <laughs> and so like the whole it, the whole book is like them like having yeah. tension and it's it's 750 pages and I read it in like three days. I'm okay. not kidding. It's, it's free like, on Kindle, Kindle Unlimited. Yeah, yeah it's okay. free. 
Hold on, I gotta go on my phone. It's so good. It is wild. Like, it's one of those books that I'm like, if someone likes dark romance and stuff yeah, like love that. Dark romance. Yeah. You uh, like have it. you guys read dark romance or are you trying to like get into dark romance? I like some. I feel like it just depends. Cause sometimes people recommend stuff and I'm like, I don't want like incest or you know what I mean? Like, yeah, okay. incest and pedophilia. <laughs> like, I, <laughs> like I don't want it to I be like with kids. Movie, yeah. Like but there are some books, I'm trying to think, um, like I read Butcher and Blackbird. Oh, I love them. Yeah. You read yeah. the second one? No, I haven't read the second one yet. Did That's, you like it? Yes, I love that. Did you? I, I was like, I feel like I read those, but when I read them, I was like, okay, this doesn't seem dark. To yeah, me. yeah. This was like dark like, rom com. Yeah. yeah. I feel like yeah. people are saying this is dark rom. Like, no, it's it, not. Like, you know, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's like darker topics and everything. So it's just like, yeah, that's considered dark. Okay. But I do have some dark romance books, but I don't know how far you guys want to go into it. I don't know. Rec recommend to your heart's content. If there's any in here too, like I'd love to. But you don't want to start with that one first. I feel like I've, I've, I've heard, heard so much about this about book. This but book. You, one of my friends loves this book. It's a stalker romance. <gasps> really? Yeah, but it's, it's it's dark, dark. Did you like it though? Yeah, I like it, but the second one is, is way wild. Really? But if you want to like dip your toe in it, I'll start with like the Penelope Douglas books. Okay. Like, oh, those are Masters. behind you. Yeah. Okay. Which yeah. one did you like? I like all these, yeah. I got all of them, but I like um, the second one, Kai. He's my favorite. Okay. Yeah, and, but yeah, that's one I dipped my toe into. Uh, yeah, I think I read. A little bit. Yeah. I read one book by Penelope Douglas, and I enjoyed it. Um, yeah. Have you read Birthday Girl? No, but I want to though. Because it's on that. Audible, so I might listen to that one, then buy the book and everything like that too. That's what I like to do. I do the same thing yeah. too. Sorry, I have my camera. I just I talk about books on the internet, yeah, so I'm yeah, always like cool. asking people like, "What are they reading?" Like, that's cool. Have um, you read um like Hooked or any of that? I haven't no, read those. I haven't because uh, I have one of them on Audible, but I couldn't get into Access until mm -hmm. I read another book with Access. So yes. I might like, go back to that. And I, I feel that. It's like a retelling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm in, I'm into Access now. So okay. Wow. Too, yeah. Dang. <laughs> so. Oh my yeah. gosh. You I feel like, like certain um, accents are too, like... Yeah, it's, so like, too it's, much. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because you can't, like... I have a hearing problem, so I can't, like, really... Hear oh, okay. The and they, like, say the words differently. Yes, and then you probably have to slow it down. Yeah. It takes longer. Because I listen yeah. to my books, like, sped up. Me too. And oh, then yeah. when they have... Uh, yeah, it's on, oh, like... Okay. Two, like two times speed. Mm -hmm. So when they have accents, I'm like, okay, I just missed. <laughs> it's like, no, 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 no. Yeah. Because some of the words they'd be like, oh, it's all um, like taboo or whatever. The, some of the words, so I'm like, that's not how you pronounce it. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh, uh, detail. I'm like, it's detail. <laughs> yeah, not detail. Yeah, like, yeah. So but, this one you shouldn't jump into then? Not at first, no. Okay. If you want to like get into it, get into it, start working with Devil's Nice Series first. But if okay. you just want to do a deep dive and you just don't care about your mental health. <laughs> You, can you don't care I about your mental health. Like I don't read trigger warnings. I usually I don't, don't either. Yeah, I, don't yeah, I just I go into it. Like, like the facts of books in for a reason. So this isn't your favorite. No, but it's like What's it's, your favorite dark romance? Say, if you had to pick one. I would say That Sick Love by um, Jesse Hall. Is that one in here? No. <gasps> no, it's That's not. also an audible. Okay. And I think you can like, read it on the Kindle as well, but you also have the Lord series. Okay. There's, um... I keep saying their names. It's the ritual, the sinner, the oh, sacrifice. Oh, I think that one is in here. The ritual, Pardon? the sinner. Is no. that in I feel like it is. Does it have a guy on the front? Yeah. Yeah, it's like kind of like this cover mm -hmm. of a color color of a cup. Yeah, because you know Madness just came out too. Yes. Yeah, so I think it, I feel like it's over here. I'm going to go over here because I feel like it is. So you said you like that one even better? I like that one. I have a picture of the book, so I have Okay. One. See, I'm not a dark romance girl. That's mm -hmm. why I'm like, I got to talk to everybody. Aria, do you read dark romance or not really? I don't know. I, I didn't think I did, but then I saw books that I already read that were considered dark. And, and you're like, okay, maybe I do. So here's the ones that I have. Ooh, I love your show. Thank you. Oh yeah, okay, so I've seen that. I don't know if I've seen it here. Who? Who's the author? Chantel Tessier. Okay, let me see if I can find it. Ooh. Chantel T is the last name? Yeah. So T would be over here, right? Mm-hmm. Right now, let's just go backwards. M S L N. I order because that author is on this side I too. know, yeah. So that maybe they just like move things around, how they feel. Yeah, that's... A last name and then there's Q and M right I wonder if the tables they just don't have them in alphabetical order but then these I don't, are they probably have them up here. I'm gonna look it up. Okay. I'm gonna look up our name. If they, they have, have it, I'm gonna get it. 
They're really thick. I'm gonna be scared. Yeah, they're really <laughs> thick. Okay. Dark romance, girly. One that I saw it here. Maybe someone took it. So you're not saying none of them is in storage, you have to order them. Okay, it, yeah. is, it is spooky season, so maybe. Yeah. Cause they're like in like a college and everything. So mm -hmm. yeah. It's it's really good. I can see the guy on the front, I'm like, okay, he looks yeah. cute. <laughs> yeah. It's, Any it's others that you can recommend? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You read the Anna Wong books? Mm -hmm. Yep, the Twisted series. Mm -hmm. I read the first one. The first one was like good, but I was like, it was fine. It wasn't like, I wasn't doing cartwheels about it, but that one was your favorite. Yeah, yeah. I read all of them. But like, I read, reread uh, Twisted Love because uh -huh. like, I could like picture it in my head. Yeah. Because the character's Asian and everything like mm -hmm. that. So I like reread it and pictured a person in my head. I was like, okay, we're good. Okay. Yeah, so. What's your favorite, the second one of this one too? Nope. This one. The fourth? Mm -hmm. Okay. Christian Harper. <laughs> <laughs> now you know when the guy's name. <laughs> That's you know that you love. You're like, Christian Harper. You didn't even say Twisted Lies. You're not even like, Twisted Lies is my favorite. You're like, Christian Harper. Yeah, he's that a stalker, man. but it's live stalking. Because the uh, Haunted Adelaide is aggravated stalking. Yeah. This is live stalking. He's like and an actual stalker, yeah, ad, isn't he? Yeah, he's an actual stalker. He, he stalked her for like a year, but it didn't, it didn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> he's a billionaire now. <laughs> but so it's he's okay. okay. If he's a billionaire, it's fine. He's okay. He's okay. So this is a bodyguard, and this is um, Josh, he's a doctor. This, okay. They're all good, actually. I like them all. But the King series, how you <laughs> You're like, that's my man. <laughs> my oh, man. Yeah, I read the first one. It was good. Yeah. I just didn't like it. Because you talk about stuff that's cringy, she might not like the singing part. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he said you like cringy stuff, or if you don't like stuff that's cringy, you might not like the singing part. There's a part where he like, does he like sing? Yeah, or and they do it in that book too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he like sings like. Yeah. But she's a singer, but he's not. Yeah, so, like it's not cute if you're not a singer. Yeah, like, you're just a person who. Decided yeah, he's to sing. like, but he's like a very aloof person. He's very stoic. So the singing part is like. Why? Yeah. Like, <laughs> what's the point? I don't, I don't understand it. Don't what? Don't give me the ick. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Probably give me the ick. Yeah. This one is a bodyguard and a princess. Do you have to read them in order? Not necessarily. No. You okay. can read them out of order. I they feel like I would. I always do when I read them out of order. So I haven't heard this. <laughs> yeah. So there's no like wow. Like, like I haven't like have, you have to read it. In okay. Order so there's everything. nothing that like connects them. Yeah. All but to. they're like just they're all like friends. Okay. The girls are all friends, and the guys. Uh, You're teaching me so much about dark romance because I don't read like any dark romance. I'm like now I kind of want to dip my toe in a little bit more. Like, I feel like I feel so, like we're reading them out of order when I read um, the Allie Hazelwood oh, book. Yeah. and those are not even a series. Yeah, but like they mentioned one of the other couples, and I like skipped ahead five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> You're like I didn't read no, that. Like, everything like, is spoilers. It's not really like a spoiler. They're just like I see them as guest stars. Okay. And everything like that, because this is like yeah, brothers' like, come best back friend. And they'll, like mention something about like when they got together. I'm like, okay, so yeah. now I know the exact moment that you're gonna get together if I ever do go back and read that. Oh, and if that spoils it for you, then maybe yeah. read it in order. Yeah. So oh, like oh, oh lights out. That's a dark uh, romance book too. Lights out. Yeah, but it's like a dark world com. Like what's oh, wrong? Oh, okay. But they're not serial killers or anything. But it's just really funny. See, I liked I liked the dark rom com. Yeah. Butcher Blackbird. It was a little much. Like the whole ice cream thing. I was yeah. like, okay, it's a lot. But I liked like the writing and it was like mm -hmm. funny. Yeah, so really I wonder funny. if I'd like Lights Out if it's like rom-com. You rom probably would. Okay. I have that book, but it doesn't fit my aesthetic, so I turn it around because it's too, <laughs> it's like bright colors. That's when you know you're a book girly, <laughs> when you're like, I have all dark books, I cannot have Yeah, because I got like light, I got like these books that are like pretty, but that one doesn't stand out because I'm going yes. to put all my other books that my mom's like, just turn it around. Yeah. Like, oh, we're going to do that. <laughs> So yeah, it's a bodyguard and a princess, a doctor, because this is like brother's um, best friend, bodyguard and a princess, uh, sister's best friend, because it's um, the enemies to lovers. Mm, okay. This book is really good and it's really spicy too. Okay. And this so the book, last two are your favorite then, huh? Yeah, I actually like all of them. Not really? Lie. Yeah. Well, maybe I should have continued the series. I stopped. Yeah. Man. You normally pick books that you have like never heard of before or Yeah, I'll like because I have TikTok and I be on TikTok a lot. Mm -hmm. So I was just like I'll keep seeing the same thing over and, and over. Like, okay, and I'll just I was read like, it. Okay. 
um, if they have it on Kindle, I'll read it on the Kindle. Mm -hmm. And uh, if it's on Audible, I'm going to listen to it. Mm -hmm. Because I like to listen to it and hear it and stay like in their perspective so I can like picture it and everything. Uh -huh. But yeah, most of the time that's where I get my book recommendations from. I love too. that. What was that other book you just said? Ghost something? Ghost of Halloween. Ghost of Halloween that you DNF. Yeah, I DNF'd it so quick. <laughs> but it's about. It's like they're, so, they're ghosts. Okay. I don't know how they became a ghost. <laughs> they just are. <laughs> Somebody died. Someone died. She wants to kill herself. I don't know why she wants to kill herself. And she got into like some type of accident that killed Did her. Did they parents. just skip the whole book? They, like? I don't know. I feel like I missed another <laughs> book, but they're not telling me or something. I don't know. <laughs> I guess the problem. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, because I was telling my mom about it. She's like, was there another book before this? I was like, You're like I don't no. know. <laughs> They're not, they didn't tell me about it. So I was like, okay. And so, so she didn't die. She didn't die. Her okay. brother died. Okay. She has a missing limb. We don't okay. know how she is a missing limb. But we know she's on benefits. Okay. <laughs> That much we do know. And her auntie wants to take her money. Okay. <laughs> that much we do know. The brother died at a party. They were talking to her. Her brother was in a pool of blood. Okay. How did he get like this? Right. You know? What happened? Why were you at the party? Well, like, yeah. Okay. We don't know that. They did a time jump. I need you to go back. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do a time jump? I don't know when this time jump. They did not say another year later. They're just like, okay, this is it. What? And, and the forty-year-old man comes in. That's the second. That's the second one. Oh, that's like, the second book. The dude name is Jack. The girl name is Harlow. Jack Harlow. I. <laughs> 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 what? Oh I, was like, what I, was reading, I was like, Jack Harlow, Jack Harlow, Jack oh. That is crazy. Yeah, so there's like two dudes, they're, they're like intimate with each uh -huh. other too. I can get behind that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like M.M. Romance. Sure. One of them doesn't like to um, do stuff to the other one. Well, I was one like, was 20 and one was 40 too, which that... Didn't you say? Oh, that was Jack, the second book? Jack, Jack is the, uh, I guess he's like in his 20s. He's dead, so he stayed in his 20s. I oh, think. yeah, I forget that they're ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, wait, wait. So the other one is a 41 year old. I think he's 41. And I don't know how old the other one is. And then they give her the nicknames. I'm trying to figure out who's who. <laughs> Put like information at the beginning. Yes. Like, oh, we're gonna use these names because they don't want her to know that it's them. Because she's the reason that they died, but you're not telling me yes. how they died. And all you know is that they're hooking up, but you don't know anything <laughs> yeah. about them or how right. they died. Yeah, yeah I would do that. They're chained up somewhere in an empty, uh, abandoned warehouse. I'm like, okay, we get it. <laughs> you want the sex, but we get it. Bro. That would probably be my first <laughs> DNA. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm on chapter seven. And they just he keeps rubbing her arm. <laughs> The amputated arm? He's like, I don't know why, but he likes it. I was like, okay, <laughs> you know you like it, bro. Not the amputated yeah. arm. <laughs> you know, I'm like, okay. That's you, crazy. Because then it's like, everybody keeps calling her, or like names calling her a slut or whatever. Mm -hmm. What are they calling you for? You don't want to tell me that either? That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> I can't. Well, I will. I will definitely not read that. Book. <laughs> okay. I um. I wish they had the Sinners book in here. But yeah. Uh. But Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. But the ritual, or yeah. The sinner, or yeah. I think you said it was the, the sinner. sinner. Yeah. That book is like it's funny, but it's not funny, ha huh, huh. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, weird. <laughs> yes. Because in one of the books, I tell this to everybody. The book that I, uh, I listen to. Because uh -huh. she, she's weird herself. <laughs> So she she got assaulted, you know how like some people like yeah. you know cope with sex and get assaulted. Sure. So it's her brother, it's her friend's um, brother that um, she's with Easton. Love okay. The name. They call I him do Sin. love the name Easton. Yeah, and they call him Sin for short. He's the craziest one out of all of them. Not gonna lie. And, um, so in the book, she was like, he said he loved her eyes so much, but he wanted to carve it out and put it in the jar so he could watch it forever. I no. died. No. I died for like five Maybe years. Maybe I should read this one first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I'm scared. Uh -huh. We got our books, guys. We got our books. And we met a new friend. We did. <laughs> um, what did you end up getting? Oh, well, I was supposed to bring it. I put it in my car. Oh, it's okay. You can just tell them what but you But I got, got the, uh, the one you told me about the fly. Oh, fly, fly Girl. What's it called? Uh, fly Girl by Andy yeah. Burke. Yeah, you'll like it. It looks good. It's 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 fake dating. Why are you so blown trope? out? <laughs> no, it's just like the lighting on your face is like blown out. It's weird. Um, but yeah, I think you'll like it. Yeah. It's fake dating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah.
And I got a nice little haul too. They I mean, a lot. Yeah, I honestly I wasn't gonna get anything, I was just gonna look. Yeah, honestly, the, these that, are the way out of my really like really good, so. these are way out of my comfort zone. Um I got lights out. <laughs> Which is so like anyone who I feel like someone could like walk into your house and see that and be like, why do you have this? Yes, it's like it does so, not like, fit. Not you. Yeah. Even the, with the color scheme, the ones you have are all like pastel. Yes. Pretty, like the titles are in cursive. Yes. This is just like the couple who slays together stays together. This is supposed to be similar to um what's it called? Uh Butcher and Blackbird yes. kind of. Which I didn't actually like Butcher and Blackbird, but uh, I liked the writing of it. I just yeah. didn't like the story. Yeah. So hopefully I like this one. I think one. like, you didn't, did you not like that one because it was a little too gory? Yes, it was too yeah. gory. I think she said that this one's like, um, not as like crazy like yeah. that. Um, it says trauma nurse. Well, it says, I want someone with a soul as black as night. Someone who would burn the world down for me and not lose a single minute of sleep over it. Trauma nurse Allie doesn't need any more kinks. She likes the one she's landed on just fine. To her, nothing could top the masked men she follows online. I didn't read the back. I did. Uh, I didn't read it. <laughs> she fantasizes yeah. about one man in particular hunting her down, but she never could have guessed that one drunken text could make those dreams into reality. I want things most people don't, craving darkness and depravity instead of light and love. Josh Hammond has spent his life avoiding the limelight, but his online persona is another story. At night, he posts mass thirst traps for his millions of fans. Aria, you didn't tell me. I didn't realize. I didn't realize. to put in your basket. But one follower has caught his eye, Allie. Together, Allie and Josh live out their darkest fantasies, unaware that Allie has captured the attention of someone with more, far more sinister intentions. As Josh turns from predator to protector, he must ask himself how far he'll go for the woman he's obsessed with. Yeah, I did not know uh, that it was going to be about that, but okay. <laughs> I got this one. I'm really excited about this because you said I, you I love really, like Sally Hepworth's yes. books. Um and it's about two sisters. I'm not going to read the whole back, but she loves Sally Hepworth's yes. thrillers. So and I've, read, I've read almost all of them. I think I've read like five or six of them. Dang. Books. Yeah. And I feel like you know thrillers really well, yeah. too. So I feel like I'll like it. Then I also got The Chain, which... That one sounds really good. It sounds yeah. so good. She picked it up. It says, you just dropped off your child at the bus stop. A panicked stranger calls your phone. Your child has been kidnapped. The stranger then explains that their child has also been kidnapped by a completely different stranger. The only way to get your child back is to kidnap another child. You are now part of The Chain. So, yeah, that looks so good. And then I also got Flock, which is a Robin Hood retelling. Um, both of these are way out of my comfort zone. Um, but Shantae, was that her name? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, she recommended them to me. And I'm always looking to try new things just because you guys know I've been in my historical fiction era. Very different, obviously, than dark romance. But yeah. I feel like I never would have tried it because I thought it was so boring. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I've kind of written off dark romance. I'm just like, oh, I'm not going to like it. It's too wild. Like, I'm just not going to enjoy it. But I, I'm gonna dip my toe in. I might. I feel I might like, like it. Uh, I feel like I struggled to start with those because I mean I guess I read Butcher and Blackbird, which is yeah. considered dark. But I feel like that one's different because they're not. He's not doing anything dark to her. Yes. They're yeah. Doing dark things like to other, to other people. people. Yeah. Whereas dark romances, I feel like a lot of the but time they like, do yeah. stuff to each other. And like with her, he's like very gentle. Yeah. And very normal. Loving. Yeah. Yeah. So he's yeah. Just, he also happens to be a serial killer. Right. So and it's like, like he's yeah. not planning on killing her right so and like they're doing it together like, and he's like protecting yeah. her so i feel like that's where it's like different. you like i don't it, want yeah. i don't want her him like you know threatening her at gunpoint and like right. being bossy like that's right. just not right or stalking yeah her. <laughs> i feel like those are fine i like those in fan fictions yeah because i feel like it's a little different yeah because i feel like fan fiction is so like out there so it's like it's obviously not gonna happen yeah, yeah. and i also feel like this is about a character that i already know yes so if it's like I don't know, it's like some like character that I read, like mm -hmm. I saw in a movie or something, yeah. and now I'm reading this like them in this retelling. It's different because I yeah. know them. No, I get that, and like I already like them. Yeah, it's so not, like they're they yeah. I, you're not I totally introducing get that. him to me to a like, new also, character. He's crazy. It's like oh, well then I don't like him. <laughs> you're like right. You're like he's wild. Like yeah, why would so I like him because he's he crazy? He hasn't earned my trust yet. Right. <laughs> I don't trust him. I want her to leave. Versus Harry Styles, you're like mm, he could be crazy. Yeah, I, I didn't like that though. Oh, <laughs> I, did, I did read the whole thing, but I didn't like it. Oh, okay. Oh, well, we got some good books. Um, this was really fun. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed book shopping with us. I'm sure we'll do this again soon. They literally were like, Aria needs a channel. Like, she needs a channel. <laughs> so, 
Comment below if you guys want her, like, more of Arya on her own channel because, like, she needs one. I just feel like I get so derailed. No, but we love like, that. Like, like, to listen to me talk, you have to be interested in every little thing that I'm interested that's in. That's okay. I'm going to be talking about, like... I'm interested in everything that everything. you have to say. I'm interested in everything. Okay. Well, it's different. You're related to me. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be interested in what I have to say. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.